Hi everyone! Today we're solving a problem out of Leet Code number 442, finding all duplicates in an array. I'm going to show you the right way and the sort of right way. At the time this video is being made, it's considered a problem without a solution. I was asked to solve this type of problem for a job interview, so here we are. Unfortunately, while attempting to solve, instead of hitting the run code button, I hit the submit button. Uh, hey leak code, how about you put in are you sure after hitting the submit button? Now I look like an idiot. Oh well, what can you do? Um, as a side note, leak code is quite different from codility as they don't give you any type of performance evaluation. You're either right or wrong and you have to be able to know your own time and space complexity. Anyway, let's dive in. For problem 442, you are given an array of integers where some elements appear twice and others appear once. The objective is to find which elements appear twice. For the example, you have an array of 4, 3, 2, 7, 8, 2, 3, 1, and your answer will be 2, 3, with the numbers put into a new list. Let's first go over what I did and then we can talk about the true and correct way. I believe the root I took was O N log N. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. My thoughts were to sort first, uh, traverse through the elements, and if we had a match, then append a new list with the duplicates, like this. I mean, is it just too obvious or is it me being wrong again? Apparently, a better way to solve, to do something like this, bear with me as I explain because it's a little sticky. Hey there! If you made it this far and enjoy what you're seeing, why not subscribe? I upload fresh content all the time. Thanks for watching. What this code does here is take the integer at the first index position 0, which is 4, Subtract 1, where we get 3, which then calls index 3, which is 7. And if that element is greater than 0, it is, it gets reassigned into negative 7. That's what this portion here does. 0 minus 7 becomes negative 7. Now the array looks like this. And then we move to the next element, which is 3. Subtract 1, we get 2. Index position is 2, which actually happens to be 2. It's greater than 0, so we reassign it to negative 2. Our array is looking like this, and so on and so forth. Eventually, we're going to get an array that gets all the way to this. When we get to our second 2, we subtract the 1 from it and get index position 1 which is going to now be negative 3. And since this number is not greater than 0, it must be appended into our new list labeled RES, or res. I, I shorten that up. It should be results, but I'm lazy. So anyway, then we go through and hit the 3, which is, again, minus 1, puts, it as, puts us at index 2. Um, which is a negative number now, just like the previous element, and it is not greater than zero. It must be appended just like our previous element. Pretty cool, right? This is why I love coding. There's so many different ways to solve. It definitely expands your mind and really gets you thinking. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was helpful to you. Daily videos throughout the week are coming out, so don't forget to subscribe.